Hey, check it out, folks. Listen, you got the guests coming. I got the appetizer, the fun thing to do with your family. Look, we just gonna make a pizza casserole. So let's get it. Now I'm gonna go straight into this, right? First thing I'm gonna do is kosher salt, couple pinches in my water. We're gonna bring that to a boil. I'm gonna be using penne, you know, pasta, right? This right here is super easy. You know what I mean? All we're gonna do is cook these to the instructions on the box and we're gonna do them al dente style. Now that my water is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and just add these. Now that we got our pasta going right, now will be a great time for us to go ahead and preheat our oven to 375 degrees. When you come back over this way, I'm gonna put a little heat into my pan right now while I'm opening my packages, right? Now we're gonna need a half a pound of this mild Italian sausage and we're gonna need a half a pound of this uh, ground beef, right? So what we're doing is we just gonna, we wanna end up with a pound. If you got a little bit more than that, that's okay. I'm just gonna take it. This looks about right. We just drop that in. And then for my ground beef, we do the same, All right? Good enough. Now, because I got Italian sausage, that's why I didn't go ahead and put no oil in there, don't need none. All this is gonna render a little fat. You know what, a little extra don't hurt nothing. So, I don't know about y'all, but listen, you wanna get yourself one of these right here. Look, this plastic or neoprene, whatever it's made out of, it won't scratch your non-stick pots, right? But as you guys can see, I'm using hex clad, so I really don't have that problem with nothing sticking and burning, but these are a must. I'll leave a link down in my description somewhere, hey, on my website also. Pick yourself up one of these. They will not scratch nothing. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna multitask, right? So I'm gonna prep my veggie, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna get my onion together, get that going, then I'll do my bell pepper, right? Now what I'm getting ready to do is just, you know, do my bell pepper. I'm gonna dice that down myself. Right now, you, you guys been around long enough, and if you're new, you can look at some of my past videos, and maybe my next one, I'll go ahead and show you how I cut it down. So I just cut it like this, open it up, right? We just want to get rid of this webbing. Right, and then when I have it open, I'll just run my knife like this to get rid of this part right here. Let me see if I can show you guys. You know, when you have a sharp blade, you can see it just cuts like butter. Right, just cut it like this, and now it's ready. All right, so look, I don't cut these down super thin. You know what I mean? I like them to be a little bit big, you know what I mean? Because it's a pizza, you know what I mean? So you could look at your dice, you know, your pieces that you cut, and you want to know that you have some. You can hear that right there. My oven is up to, you know, up to temp, and she's ready to go. So now we're going to put our onions in, and then I'm going to come with my bell peppers. And then right here, we just give it a mix. And everything should just start to marry and soften. Now, when we have pizza, we don't have it like super soft on our veggies, right? We just have bell pepper, we got a little onion. We just wanted to steam a little bit and release some of this flavor. And this one right here, we call this a, this a, this a love train right here. All right, so look, look at that right there. This is what we want, right? If it seems like it's a little bit dry for you, you know what I mean? Don't worry. I got something for you. Now we finna come with a little beef broth, right? But don't forget, this full ingredient list and recipe is on my website, right? That's smokinganddrillingwithab.com and that's w-i-t-a-b.com. You just gonna add a little bit of this, you know, beef broth, right? We just probably put in about a half a cup. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use my minced garlic. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure my minced garlic is getting in that beef broth and making this little juice that's down here. You know why? Because when I move it around, I want to make sure that all of my ground beef and my pork gets a little bit of that absorption. It's key. That right there, you gotta have that garlic. I mean, yeah, that, gar that minced garlic. Now, I'm gonna come with my W sauce. Now my hot sauce. And what we're gonna do now is just give it a nice little mix. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this, right? Cause I want this to simmer just a little bit and it's kind of thick, right? And I'm right here getting ready to grate my Parmesan. I don't want it all splattering all over me, right? Parm is done. I'm gonna go ahead and just, I only need a quarter cup. As you can see, that's more than a quarter cup, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my mozzarella and we finna 
you know, shred this too. I don't want to bore you guys, you know what I mean? Uh, do I need to use this big side or can I turn this over some? Let's go ahead and do it like this. Nah, this pizza, folks. We are gonna go ahead and use what we used to seeing. All right, so you can see I got a pile of mozzarella. I got my palm right here. We put the top on, we've been simmering. I don't know if you guys can get in here. I'm gonna turn this off, but look, take a look at that right there. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna turn this off, right? I'm gonna get my spatula and I'm gonna start stirring this up a little bit. Ah, yeah. It's enough heat in here because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt my palm right now, right? So remember we did it fine. Yes, sir. Don't need a whole lot. And this right here, just work itself in here. You know what I mean? We got enough heat. So now we take it here and look, we just pour. Look at that. Don't worry about it. We're gonna have enough. Then look, when you use the right tools, check this out. Oh man, I love these pots and pans too. All right, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this up. Look at this right here, folks. Is this what y'all was thinking when I was talking about it? Super easy to make. A whole lot of talking for something that's like super simple. So now we bring the mozzarella into the game. You guys got it now. You know what I mean? We just want to go ahead and cover this on the top right here. It's up to you how much of this you want to put in there, but I can tell you this, when we do a pizza, it's got a gang of cheese on it. Now this is supposed to have been like about two and a half, three cups, right? Ah, we was close though, you know? And when I stick it in the oven, look, we already got up to temp, right? You got to remember this part, folks. Listen, we're gonna go in for 15 minutes covered, and then we're gonna go 10 minutes uncovered, right? So I like that. I'm gonna save a little bit of this back and I'm gonna show you why. Now, when it comes to your pepperoni, you guys can get the regular size or the small kind that, that do like bologna. All of it do like bologna once it get hot, right? So we just put it on here like this, no type of way. You know what I mean? You do whatever you wanna do. But your boy ain't got no design, I just do them like this. This is a fun, you know, recipe to do, especially with kids. And then when you got guests coming on, coming over, you can get them little paper saucers, saucers and then pass these out. You give everybody a scoop full, you know what I mean? And they can do these as a, like a little appetizer, halftime, you know, gourmet. I'm just gonna put a little light, little cover over the top, because I don't want my cheese sticking to nothing, right? We just do it like this. Remember, Covered for 15, uncovered for 10. That's good enough. All right, you see it right here. Now don't forget, listen, when you uncover it, it's gonna make the cheese get a little bit darker. But if you wanna hurry up and you know pull it and you wanna see like a little bit of a cheese pull, you gotta do it while it's hot, right? But for me, I'll be taking pictures of it and all of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it like this right here. Let's see if I can get underneath this right here. And you guys will just see. You see how that just breaks up like that? Let me come over here and get some of this over here. Ooh. Now you know this is like a kid's favorite, being honest with you. Because listen, everybody like cheese, everybody like pepperoni, and then you put it all together, everybody like pizza. I'll just sit it right there. Now, if you guys want to dress this up and do something like, uh, what am I going to say? If you want to go ahead and put some greenery on here, you can get some parsley or something like that, you know? But for me, I'm going to just put this on here like this. Get this ready and take some pictures of it in the bowl. Okay, folks, so you've seen it. I just told you, listen, it's really like a, I'm gonna say it this way, not only is it a kid friendly, you know what I mean, dish, and it's fun to make, you know, with your, you know, your kids, but listen, this right here is just a crowd pleaser, right? And it gets you away from the, uh, I was gonna say it gets you away from the bread from having pizza, right? But you know what? I can't even say that because we turned around and did the starches, you know, having the uh, pasta. Hey, anyway, I'm not finna over talk it. Check it out, folks. Ooh, this nice and hot. Mm, cheers. Okay, folks, listen, I ain't got to do all of that no crazy antics. This right here is fire, right? Don't have that buttery cur crust, you know, like you normally used to. But this right here, I'm telling you, it's a smooth little heat with that red pepper flakes and all of that. Listen, I don't want to over talk it. I'm going to wrap this video up. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Don't forget, the full recipe is on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, with that being said, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And I'm not playing with y'all, folks. This right here is fire, and I'm out.